WCPA families and students, it's Mr. Brenton DeFlitchigan, K-12 Literacy Director for WCPA. Today I want to read a book called The Scrambled States of America. You know, when I'm looking for books for myself or for kids or for my daughter, you know, I really start thinking about what's unique, what's different, what kind of pushes how we look at literature and what we're reading. Simply, what's different? And this book, The Scrambled States of America, really fits that bill and kind of how it addresses learning um, all the states in America, um, how it focuses on inclusion and acceptance, um, and, and just its overall idea of taking the sta states and saying, what if they were in different places on the map and trying to be like those other places? So without taking too much time, let's go ahead and jump in. If you haven't spent too much time, you could pause right here as well and look through and really start getting comfortable with and knowing all of the states in our country. And here we are, California. The Scrambled States of America. Hi there, I'm Sam. I'm assuming since you opened this book that you're in the mood to hear a story. Well. You're in luck, because I have a story for you. It's a little story about this fine country of ours. I'll bet you thought you'd heard them all, but not many people know this one. Look at Ohio. Let me tell it. Oh, oh, let me, let me. No, no, you two, that is part, that part is my job. Now get back in your places. We're about to start the story. Well, let's give them a couple of seconds to get back into position. 1001, 1002, 1003. Okay, turn the page. Well, it was just your basic ordinary day in the good old US of A. States all over the country were waking up having their first cups of coffee, reading the morning paper, and enjoying the beautiful sunrise. All the states, that is, except for Kansas. He was not feeling happy at all. How do I know this? Because he said, I'm not feeling happy at all. Close up of Kansas. What's wrong? His best friend Nebraska kindly asked him. Nebraska is a very kind state. I don't know, moaned Kansas. I just feel bored. All day long we just sit here in the middle of the country. We never go anywhere. We never do anything. And we never meet any new states. Hmm, said Nebraska. Don't get me wrong, Nebraska. You're the best friend a state could have. But... Don't you ever want more? Don't you ever want to see what else is out there? Nebraska's thought process. Hmm. Yes, yes I do, Nebraska said excitedly. And now that you mention it, I'm sick and tired of hearing North Dakota and South Dakota bicker all the time. I have a great idea, exclaimed Kansas. Let's have a party and invite all the other states. You know, one of those get-to-know-you deals. Everyone can bring a favorite dish. We can have music and dancing. That's a great idea, shrieked Nebraska. I wish I'd thought of it myself. So, with a little help from their neighbors, Missouri and Iowa, those wacky little Midwestern states, planned the biggest party ever. They sent out invitations and blew up balloons. They even hired a band to play. At last, the big day came, and little by little, the states arrived at the party. Nebraska and Kansas were on the welcoming committee. Iowa was in charge of coats, and Missouri and Illinois passed out name tags for each state to wear. Within minutes after their arrival, the states began making friends with each other. They spent hours talking, laughing, dancing, and singing. It was long into the evening when Idaho and Virginia got up on the stage. Excuse me, 
Idaho said politely. Idaho is a very polite state. Sorry to interrupt, but Virginia and I were just talking, and we thought it might be fun if she and I switched places. You know, so we could see a new part of the country. Yes, Virginia chimed in. Then we thought maybe all of you might want to try it too. What do you think? A wave of excitement swept through the room. I feel giddy. Makes me want to dance. What a grand idea. We should have done this years ago. Groovy baby. Woohoo! They could hardly wait. Immediately, the states made their plans to switch places. They said their goodbyes and went directly home to pack. It took the better part of the next morning for the states to move to their new spots. But, finally, they were settled in. All of the states were much happier now that they were by their new neighbors and in a new part of the country. Oh yes, this was a much better arrangement. Hmm, that looks like a lot of chaos to me. But after a couple days had passed and all the excitement had died down, the states began to realize that they weren't as happy as they thought. Florida, who had switched spots with Minnesota, was freezing in the frosty northern climate. And Minnesota, who forgot to buy sunscreen, got an awful sunburn. Ouch! Alabama, New York, and Indiana, all of whom took California's place, were bothered by an annoying rumbling sound that kept them up all night. Arizona, who had traded places with South Carolina, was upset because the ocean waves kept ruining her hairdo. Alaska, who had been wanting a little more interaction with the other states, was irritated by Oklahoma's handle jabbing into his left side and Michigan's thumb tickling his right. Oklahoma, where the wind comes sleeping down the plain. One of the best things about this book are all of these little side conversations happening. And worst of all, Kansas, who had switched places with Hawaii because he was sick of being stuck in the middle of the country, was now stuck in the middle of nowhere, feeling lonesome and seasick. And Hawaii was longing for some peace and quiet like in the good old days. Well, there was no question in any state's mind about what to do. Everyone wanted to go home. So... Even faster than they made the first trip, they packed up their things and they hit the road. Look at all them traveling. Taxis, buses, airplanes. As the sun set across the country, all of the states, from A to W, were back in their very own homes. The states were so happy to see their old friends again. They spent the entire evening sharing their new experiences with each other the good and the bad. That night, all the states in the country went to bed feeling happy about the new friends they had made, but most of all, feeling very thankful to be home. And here you have all the different states that you can learn about, their populations, their names, their capitals, So one of the things I think from this book that are really important is that it's okay to try something new and different. It's also okay not to like it and keep doing it just because you tried it. It's okay to say that that didn't work and to go back to the way it was before. And I think deep down for myself, it's also a sense of knowing that even sometimes when we venture out to do things, deep down there is no place like home sometimes. Thank you all. I hope you uh, like and subscribe the video below and we'll be sharing more books shortly.